Hello, my name is Charlotte Rinaldi. I am the producer, writer, director and actor of my own film Isolated and I'm going to be answering some questions. I'm 24 years old. I am an Italian immigrant. I immigrated from Italy to Australia when I was 13 years old and I have been acting ever since. I decided to become a filmmaker only recently because I wanted to create my own work and uh, be in my own work. So my last and only work was my short film Isolated, which was shot during isolation and quarantine and COVID. So it was quite challenging because it was very much a one woman show. I not only wrote it and directed and acted in it, but I had to use my own lighting, I had to shoot it myself, I had to edit it myself, I did my own sound design. Um, it was um, it was challenging, but a very good learning experience. Filmmaking is very much storytelling. Um, I'm a very visual person, which is why I love film. I, I love cinematography. Um, I love telling stories that way because I'm not very much of a verbal person. Um, some of the themes and issues I would love to talk about is what I have experienced myself as a person, as a as an Italian immigrant, as a woman. Um, you know, actual issues and and um, things that I can relate to that I think would make an interesting story. So as I mentioned before, I'm a very visual person, um, so I really struggle with writing and script writing and dialogue. So the way I would approach a new project, I will just think about the idea um, of what I would like it to be about, and then I will focus on what will it look like. You know, I will watch films and take inspiration of a shot that I think would look really cool, or I'll take inspiration from my life and my everyday, you know, taking the bus and seeing a scene that I thought looked really cool and incorporate that into my project and see what it looks like and then add dialogue after that. <laughs> um, so many, so many, so many films. Um, some of my favorites are uh, La Vita Bella, Christopher Nolan's Memento and uh, Prisoners. I love um, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I love uh, Whiplash and, and Black Swan. I love all of James Wan's horror films. I love horror films, Ari Aster's films, uh, Jordan Peele's latest. I, I love dark, gritty, uh, disturbing, visually fascinating uh, plot twists. Yeah, I, I love all of that. Um, well, I think the industry is definitely changing in uh, more than one way. Inclusivity, I think we see a lot more of that, which is good to see. Um, length of films, they're longer. At the same time, I think people's attention span is a lot smaller, which is why Netflix probably got so much attention during COVID. And I mean, for us independent filmmakers, COVID has, I guess, added another issue into making films. It's it's quite hard to get people together, to get the time. Um, but I also think it gave us this hunger to create, to make, since we haven't been able to do it for so long. The advice that I would give, and um, it's the same advice that I got as well, would be to just start doing, just start making, just start writing, just start shooting. Just you and a piece of paper or a camera. Don't think about production or equipment or actors or editing. Don't start thinking about that. Just think about what you want to do. Why do you want to do it? And then start actually doing it on your own. Just start writing a page a day. Um, and if you're not a writer like me, just start writing a shot or start shooting something. Take a video of something that you thought looked cool. You don't need anyone else. You can make something on your own and then you can add people.
Absolutely they can, absolutely. You know, the arts industry, although the most undervalued, it is the most used. Um, everybody watches movies, everybody, all the time. Everybody ingests art constantly, uh, whether they realize it or not, they do. Um, and as long as you have people's attention, you can influence them. I mean, movies have, have changed my mind, opened my mind. They've literally taught me a language. I know what it's like to be me, but I don't know what it's like to be a single mother with an abusive husband. Movies can show me that. They give you empathy. They teach you. They can change the world. What do people like to watch these days? Uh, a whole lot of crime documentaries, I think and um superhero stuff i, I think <laughs> that's what i've noticed and a whole lot of series so covid i think we got used to staying in our home and just ingesting series after series just episode after episode um i think so for my next project um it's it's still very new at a very basic level but I'd like to talk about my experience as a young Italian girl moving to Australia. You know, what it was like um, learning a new language, the people I've encountered. And um, yeah, it's gonna be bigger than my uh, first film. It's gonna have a cast and a crew. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a bigger challenge for sure. Um, yeah, thank you Tokyo Short Film Festivals for um, this interview.